HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers girls lacrosse as today they take on Mansfield. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera, and we are just about set to get underway here at the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. The Hillers are two and two on the season. Mansfield is two and one overall. Mansfield, of course, out of the Hockamock. The Hillers out of the TVL. It should be a great matchup here this afternoon. A bit of a different weather situation than yesterday or the past two days as the skies are cloudy, rain is falling. But these two teams, they're still going to play this game and they're ready to go. Rain not expected to hang around too, too long as there's just a few pop-up storms in the area, but nothing serious. The temperature reading at 46 degrees with an overcast as we get set for the opening face-off between the Hillers and Mansfield. We are also live on our YouTube page right now, youtube.com slash HCAMTV. You can catch a number of our sports broadcasts throughout the season airing live on our YouTube page. And it'll certainly be a whole lot of fun to be able to get some of these games on there for you live. And we are ready to go between the Hillers and Mansfield. Standing in the center for the Hillers, it is Cami McDonald. And she was up against Laura Whitman, and we are underway. The Hillers working right to left across your screen in their home white jerseys. With possession, it's Olivia O'Connor. O'Connor passes to her left to Cammie McDonald. McDonald driving in, looking for a shot, and she'll take it back out. We'll have a stoppage here. Cammie McDonald will come out of the free position. An opportunity here for the Hillers. Two 25 minute halves here in these girls across contest. And there's a goal, one nothing Hillers. Cammie McDonald for the opening score at 24.05. Left to go in the first half. A nice start there for the Hillers. The goaltender for Mansfield is number 15, Caitlin McCarthy. And for the Hillers, it is sophomore Juliana Lucas. Cammie McDonald winning the faceoff once again. Here we go. Rushing up is Natalie Calkins trying to find Lydia Rudden. Rudden going to take it around, looking for a shot here. She's boxed out, able to get it into Calkins, and it's dropped, picked up by Mansfield. Here comes the Hornets up the far side. That's Kendall Sabuth. Loose ball. Hornets maintain possession. It was picked up by Lauren Whitman, and we'll have a stoppage here with the little bit of contact. Whitman will come out of the free position. Trying to find Garvin, and it's a loose ball picked up by Vassington. And here comes the Hillers with possession, Olivia O'Connor. 
And now it's up to Lillian York. York able to find Calkins. Calkins with a shot, and it's just wide to the left. Catherine Dacey able to get there first to keep it in Hiller's possession. Dacey fires it over to Lily York. And now it's Cammy McDonald. And McDonald trying to get it over to Ruddin, but there was some contact there. A little bit of a collision between Ruddin and Melissa Chanteler. So Ruddin will have an opportunity here. The senior captain, Lydia Ruddin, surpassing 200 career points recently for the Hillers. And she overfires a little bit there. It will stay in Hopkinton possession as Calkins able to get there. And correction, it's Mansfield ball. Grace Maher with the entry for Mansfield, and it's knocked down, but that'll draw the whistle. It's knocked out of the net of Whitman, but there was some contact. A 1 0 lead for the Hillers, just over three minutes into this battle. Here comes Mansfield up the far side. That's Kendall Sabuth. And she's going to rush up. She's looking for a shot, and she overfires. And it looks like it's going to stay with Mansfield. Olivia Murray able to get there. Murray fires it out to McCabe, and now picking up is Danahy. The Hornets trying to find an opening, but the Hiller is covering up nicely in front of the net. Grace Fernandez behind the net. Gets it over. And now with possession, Lauren Whitman. It's knocked down, loose ball. And a good battle for it between Whitman and Hannah Ionelli. And Ionelli ends up being able to knock it over to Olivia O'Connor. Here comes the Hillers. Maria Vassington with the pass up towards Dacey. And she's able to pick it up. Dacey takes it up. Or excuse me, uh, taking it around behind the net is Lily York. Looking for a shot, and it is deflected by the goaltender. Loose ball out in front. And then it's knocked out of the net of Dacey. And Lily York trying to get back in there, and it's knocked around by a number of different players, and Olivia O'Connor able to pick it up for the Hillers. Dacey McDonald now gets it around behind the net. Lydia Ruddin trying to box out a Hornet as Olivia O'Connor with possession. O'Connor going to swing it around. Here she goes. Looking for a shot. There it is. 2-0 Hillers. The goal comes with 19.50 left to go. The junior striking. Great start for Hopkinton. An 11 a.m. start here for this one. That's the nice thing about the uh, school vacation. You get a lot of these earlier start times. Some nice afternoon Hillers action. And certainly want to say hello to all the people watching us live on YouTube as Olivia O'Connor takes it up for the Hillers. O'Connor out to McDonald, the shot, that's off the post. Loose ball, and it's picked up by Mansfield. And now it was knocked out of the net of Maggie Danahy, but then will draw the whistle. Here comes the Hornets, Danahy with possession. Danahy with the pass over to Garvin. Katie Garvin back to Danahy. Now it's over to Whitman. And they'll take it over to the far side, McCabe. Around the net they go, trying to swing it around here. Now out in front, Danahy. Little misfire there, trying to get it to Whitman, but she's able to pick it up. Danahy now with the pass over to Garvin. And Garvin was looking for Murray, loose ball, and it's picked up by Olivia O'Connor. 
Here comes Tiffany McCullis with possession. McCullis rushing up the field. Firing towards Calkins, picked up by Calkins. Great feed and a misfire there by Ianelli. And I think uh, the goaltender actually might have got a piece of that. That was a pretty good uh, effort in net by the Mansfield goalkeeper, Caitlin McCarthy. 2-0 lead for the Hillers, approaching 18 minutes left to go in the first half. Over to the near side, Ianelli. Now it's out in front to Cassidy. Gets it back over towards Baculus. Baculus rushing in, trying to find an opening. Up behind the net now. Hiller's trying to swing it around and set up shop. And McCullis is deflected, but it is picked up by Cockins. Cockins looking for a feed and a great feed of Cammie McDonald, who puts it in for score number three for the Hillers. A 3 nothing lead for Hopkinton. Second goal of the day for Cammie McDonald, the junior. And that was just a tremendous assist there by Calkins. So the Hillers leading three to nothing. And things are looking good here on this Thursday afternoon so far. Cammie McDonald has been dominant in the center circle. And a good scoop here. Over towards O'Connor, who loses it though, but it is picked up by McCullis. McCullis with the pass up to Calkins. Loose ball along the far side. Lily York trying to scoop it up. And the contact there will draw the whistle. Here goes Lily York. I'll take it around the net and get it over to Jesse Ionelli. Lydia O'Connor now swings it around to McDonald. And now it's Calkins back to O'Connor. Olivia O'Connor trying to find where to go with it. Out to Cammie McDonald. Donald boxed out. Out in front now to Lily York. York. Trying to find an opening, gets it back to Ionelli. And that one is deflected, loose ball. And it is picked up by Abby Cassidy. Nice job by Cassidy staying with it as Anne Marie McCoy was there to contest her. Ionelli out to O'Connor. Out in front now, shot off the post by Cammie McDonald. She nearly had her hat trick there. Calkins picks it up along the far side, scoops it out to O'Connor. And out to Ionelli. And now it's Cassidy. Lily York trying to swing it out. Back to McDonald. Kim McDonald trying to sneak around. And that one's deflected and taken away by Mansfield. Here comes the Hornets. Shaylin Sears with a nice takeaway there. And now Olivia Murray with possession. Up to Varcioni. Varcioni rushing in. Gets it over to the side of the net to Garvin. Garvin trying to swing it around. Good set up in front, but a misfire there by Whitman. It is going to... Stay in Mansfield possession as Garvin there to pick it up. 15 minutes and counting left to go in the first half. A 3-0 Hillers lead. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse on H Camp. Here's Danahy. Now swung around to Varcioni. Trying to get behind the net up to Fernandez. Fernandez with the pass over to Garvin. Garvin takes it out. Out in front, shot deflected. Still loose out in front. 
And the Hillers have it, picked up by McCulis. Great job by Juliana Lucas, the goaltender, deflecting the shot there. Here comes McCulis. She lost it, loose ball, scooped away by McCoy. But McCoy was trying to push it forward. Vassington there to intercept. Cammie McDonald takes it up. Out in front, around the defender, the shot turned away. Loose ball, and it's picked up by Fernandez. Good defense on both sides these last few minutes. And we'll have a stoppage here. Here comes Fernandez. Fernandez along the far side up against Olivia O'Connor. It's out to Danahy. Danahy with the pass over to Garvin. Garvin lost it. And is able to pick it up the shot and Mansfield has their first goal. Katie Garvin sticking with it. Was relentless in getting to the loose ball. Picks it up and gives the Hornets their first score with 13-13 left. And it looks like we will have a timeout with 13-13 left, so we will take one as well. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen driver surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving because if you do it, your child will too. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. A 3-1 lead for the Hillers off the timeout. 13-13 left to go. You're tuned in to Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Tom Nappy on the call. Sean Ritz on camera. Bit of a cloudy day today, a little cooler than the past couple days where we had Hiller's softball for you, but still a good turnout nonetheless. Number of parents and Hiller's fans here to cheer on their team. And it's been a good battle between these two very well coached teams so far. Hiller's led by head coach Caitlin Berry, who's done a great job in her tenure, and Mansfield led by head coach Lauren Wilkie. And a nice job by Calkins getting in there. Here she comes. Calkins takes it around. Out in front, just past the reach of Cassidy. Mansfield has it. Was picked up by Whitman. Whitman up against Cammy McDonald along the near side. And she was surrounded by Hillers, and McDonald is able to take it away. Nice job by the Hillers there, not letting Whitman pass the defensive zone. Olivia O'Connor with possession. Back to McDonald now. Cammy McDonald with a pair of goals already. Olivia O'Connor with one. Ianelli. We'll swing it around to Dacey, and now with possession, it's McDonald. Out in front, loose ball. McDonald picks it up. Over to Olivia O'Connor. And now it's Calkins. Shot there, wide to the left. And it looks like Mansfield possession. Grace Maher able to get there. Grace Mayer, rather, with the pass up, and that is knocked down. Loose ball, and it's pushed out by Vassington. We do get a whistle here. There was some contact going on. Mansfield maintains possession. Marcioni with the pass up. Here comes the Hornets. And a misfire there to Fernandez. 
from Garvin. Hillers, I believe, will have it. Hannah Ionelli with possession. Here comes Hannah. Approaching 11 minutes left to go in the first half. 3-1 Hillers lead. And Marie McCoy now. Oh, Hillers maintain possession. Here comes Hopkinton. With possession, McCullis. The midfielder with the pass up to Olivia O'Connor. Out in front, Cockins looking for a shot, and that is in, 4-1 Hillers. That score comes with 10.32 left to go in the first half. Nice score there by the senior attacker, Natalie Cockins, to make it a 4-1 Hillers lead. Cammie McDonald up against Maggie Danahy in the center circle. We'll do it again. Field with possession. The near side, Garvin. Swings it back over to Danahy. Just past the reach of McCabe, but it is kept in Mansfield possession. There to pick it up was Olivia Murray. And now here comes Fernandez. Pass over to Garvin. Out in front now, Whitman. Back to Garvin. Garvin swings it out, good set up there, and it's turned away by Juliana Lucas. The sophomore goaltender doing a great job so far today. Hawkins picks up the loose ball. Gets it out to McCullis. And it's taken away by Mansfield. There's a nice scoop up there by Anne Marie McCoy. And now it's knocked down by Cockins. Loose ball. And rushing over to pick it up is Kate Garvin. Hornets will swing it out. Out in front, Danahy. Pass over to McCoy. Less than nine minutes left to go in the first half. Loose ball picked up by Juliana Lucas. Pass over to Katja Markovic. And it's taken away by Mansfield. There it was Lauren Whitman. And now out in front, good setup. Lucas turns it away. Another great save there. And Cammie McDonald had it for the moment for the Hillers, but dropped it, and Olivia Murray was there to pick it up for Mansfield. Juliana Lucas has been kept busy tending the net for the Hillers, but she has made a number of tremendous saves so far today. Pass out to McCabe. Cable on the near side, up against Markovic. Swings it over to McCoy. Now it's Danahy out in front. That is Garvin. Loose ball now as Garvin was trying to set it up in front of the net. And the Hillers have it. Cockins there to pick it up. And that is out to O'Connor. Here comes the Hillers quickly working their way upfield. Lily York with possession. York. Able to get it to her right. There's a shot and a goal. Catherine Dacey with the score. The sophomore makes it 5-1. The score comes with 7.22 left to go in the first half. Now 
That was a nice shot there by Daisy. She saw the opportunity and put it right in the net. And Hiller is off to a 5-1 lead. At 7.22 left to go in the first half. Now to Lily York. Here comes Hopkinton once again. York, a couple Hornets around are able to get it over to Dacey. Now it's Cockins. It's back over to Dacey. Swinging it around, Ionelli. Up to Cassidy. And now it's Cammy McDonald. Dropped and picked up by Daisy. And the Hillers, they're going to be patient. They got a comfortable lead. They're going to swing it around, try to find an opening. No rush here. Cassidy. McDonald now over to Daisy. And that's the benefit of having a bit of a pad to work with as you can find an opportunity like that. An opportunity to get it to Cami McDonald and she had the nice open shot from right in front to make it six to one. And that score comes with 622 left exactly one minute after the fifth Hillers goal of the day. And Cami McDonald, she has the hat trick. Three goals so far today for Cami. Six to one Hillers, 6.22 left to go in the first half. Loose ball picked up by McDonald. Over to Eliza Worrell, just recently hopped in the game. McDonald now, Cockins. Now along the far side, Cassidy. Bringing it around the net. Dacey. Off the net of Worrell. And Mansfield able to take it away, but not for long. A battle here. Vassington trying to pick it up. But the Hornets will get there first. Maggie Danahy was there to take it away. Here comes Danahy. Oh, Mansfield, they're certainly going to have to turn it up a notch. They need some scores here if they want to get back in this game. Danahy. Out in front. There's a shot wide to the right. The attempt was by Grace Fernandez. And Mc Marie McCoy was there to pick it up, but it looks like she's going to be able to come out of the free position here. So big opportunity for Grace Fernandez. Here we go, Fernandez up against Lucas. Rushes in, the shot, Lucas there to turn it away. Another tremendous save by the sophomore. And that was great defensive work by the Hillers, closing in and not letting Fernandez really get a good shot off. McCullis. Back out to Lucas, approaching four and a half left to go in the first half. A 6-1 Hillers lead over Mansfield in this girls varsity lacrosse matchup. It's up to Catherine Dacey. Here goes Dacey up the far side. And offsides there. Here we go. Dacey looking for Cockins in front. And that was a nice job by the Hornets defender, Shailen Sears, getting her net in there to knock it away. Out in front, picked up by Lily York. Hiller's certainly winning the possession battle in this first half. Over to Eliza Worrell. Now it's Vassington. Drop picked back up by Cassidy. And now Dacey. Swinging around, Cockins out in front, shot, goal! Hillers, Liza Worrell. 
The score comes with 3.20 left to go. The Hillers starting to pour it on a little bit. A nice goal there by the sophomore, Eliza Worrell. Hiller is leading 7-1 against a talented Mansfield team. In the background, it looks like the Hiller's softball team getting a little practice in as well. They had a nice win yesterday against Milford. And here comes the Hillers again on the attack. Out in front, looking for the shot, turned away. It was Abby Cassidy launching a good one there. Mansfield has it. Here comes the Hornets. Rushing up is Grace Fernandez. Now a pass up to Garvin. With possession, it's Abby Varcioni. Two and a half left to go in the first half. A 7-1 Hillers lead. Katie Garvin has it knocked away. Lily York trying to scoop it down. Loose ball picked up by York. And some contact there. York able to pick it up. Looks like O'Connor might have gotten hit. So you get the high net call there as Olivia O'Connor will take it up. Up to Cassidy. On the far side, that's Worrell. Back to Cassidy, she goes. Over to Olivia O'Connor. O'Connor was trying to feed McKillis. And Mansfield has it. Able to get there for the Hornets was Varcioni. Varcioni, though, contested by a number of Hillers along the near side. It's knocked out of play. Hillers have it. Called out on Varcioni with possession, it's Olivia O'Connor. Back to Cockins now. Around the net they go. Less than a minute left to go in the first half. Great half of play for the Hillers. So they have a nice 7-1 lead. Olivia O'Connor over to Coggins. Hillers, they're going to take their time here. No need to rush. They're going to swing it around, find an opening. Lily York going to try to change this Mansfield defense up. Coggins now with possession. Now it's Stacy, or excuse me, that's Worrell. Worrell rushing in, there's a shot, and another Hiller's goal. Eight to one, Hopkinton. Eliza Worrell with her second of the day. The goal comes with 14.6 seconds left to go in the first half. All Hillers in half number one. Lily York able to get there. Here she comes along the far side. Not a lot of time to work with five seconds. Maybe the Hillers is going to try to get one last shot off Dacey out in front. And they do. And a score. Dacey was able to find Cockins. And Cockins put it right in for the point. And we'll make sure they. Uh, Credit the Hillers with that on the scoreboard. But I believe she did get the shot off in time. 
But I believe the score at the half is going to be Hillers 9, Mansfield 1. If it's any different, we'll certainly let you know. But half number one in the books. And there it is. They put the nine up. And the Hillers with a goal at pretty much two milliseconds left to go in the first half. All Hopkinton and half number one. And they lead Mansfield nine to one. We'll take a timeout. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. The Hopkinton Hillers leading the Mansfield Hornets 9-1 as we enter the second half. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse on HCAM. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you on this Thursday afternoon. John Ritz on camera. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. And a big thank you to Bill's as they helped us... Uh, Build our new perch over at the baseball field, which hopefully we'll be using next week for some Hillers baseball. They're expected to have their first game on the grass field this coming Wednesday. So we certainly are looking forward to utilizing the new perch, and it's certainly an incredible angle as well. A 9-1 to Hopkinton lead as we are ready for the final 25 minutes of regulation. The Hillers, they just dominated in the first half possession wise. They got some great shots off. And they have a nice lead as we start this second half. And a loose ball here. And it is secured for the moment by Mansfield. Was just past the reach of her teammates. So Jesse Alianelli there to pick it up for the Hillers. Here comes Daisy rushing in. Pass over to Lily York. And she was trying to feed Lydia Rudden right in front of the net. But overthrew her by just a little bit. Loose ball. And we get a stop at Shear as Calkins is tripped up. And she got up a little slow there, but appears to be okay. Hawkins over to Lily York, an opportunity here. York swings it around, looking for a shot out in front. And that is deflected away by the goalkeeper. Nice save there by McCarthy. Lydia Rudden with possession. Rudden drawing some contact there. There she goes. Out in front. Olivia O'Connor trying to get the shot off and a good feed there. Cockins turned away. Mansfield has it. Just picked up just in front of the net there. Here comes the Hornets as the wind really starting to whip around. Wind picking up a little bit. up here so the wind certainly will affect us a little more than the players down on the field. We have some equipment blowing around up here so we're trying to make sure everything's secure. Some big contact there in front of the Hiller's net as Katie Garvin's tripped up. She's going to be able to come out of the free position here. Here goes Garvin rushing in, shot, and it's a score, nine to two. That goal comes at 
22-13 to go in the second half. So Mansfield gets on the scoreboard. A well-needed goal there for the Hornets. And we get a stoppage. We'll do it again. Here comes Cockins with the pass up over to Cammie McDonald. And now Lydia Rudden rushing in, and she will put it in for the Hillers. Hopkinton back up by eight. Lydia Rudden wide open in front of the net. And if you leave her open, it is not going to end in a very good result for the opposing team. It's Lydia Rudden's first goal of the day. Adding on to that 200 plus point total in her Hiller's career. Hiller's leading by eight as we're just over three minutes into the second half. Loose ball here as Hannah Ionelli trying to maintain possession and she will. And she'll get it up to Jesse Ionelli. Swipes it out over to Cammie McDonald. And now it's Hawkins over to O'Connor. Around the net they go. Along the far side, Cammie McDonald. And now here's Olivia O'Connor. Closing in, looking for the shot, and it's just over the net. Hillers will maintain possession. And a goal there by the Hillers. Quick score. And Hopkins are just cruising along. They are now up by nine. Score comes with 20.53 left to go. And the Hillers just continuing to pour it on the Mansfield Hornets. Here comes the Hornets up the far side. Garvin with the pass around. Up to Murray. And now it's Fernandez. Trying to swing it around here is Garvin. Out in front, loose ball. Fernandez is trying to pick it up and it's taken away. Able to get in there and rip it away was Katja Markovic. And Mansfield able to take it back along the far side. So Olivia Murray was there. Out in front and we have a Mansfield score as Lauren Whitman will put it in. 11 to three game. That score comes with 19.52 left to go. Well, Mansfield finding a little offensive momentum in the second half. 11 to three score. Here we go. Wind starting to pick up a little bit here with storms moving in this weekend. Unfortunately, it does not look like a very nice weekend weather-wise. 
That's okay. We've been spoiled the last two weekends. Lily York closing in. York around the net, the shot, and it is deflected away. And it's a loose ball out in front. And for the moment, Mansfield has it, and they'll maintain possession. That was a nice job by Melissa Chanteler holding on to it for the Hornets. And a good save by Caitlin McCarthy. And Mansfield quick to get into Hiller's territory. There's a shot. And a great save by Lucas. Juliana Lucas with another key save there. That was a wide open shot right out in front as well by Grace Fernandez. Stays an eight point game, an eight point Hillers lead. 11 to three, 1845 and ticking left to go in the second half. Loose ball out in front. There was no whistle there as Lauren Whitman was tripped up and now we'll have one. We'll stay in Mansfield possession. Or actually, no, excuse me, it's Hiller's ball. Up the far side is Dacey. Picked up by Worrell. Worrell swings it around. Hawkins now on the far side. Out to Cami McDonald. And out to Cassidy. Up to McCullis. And the Hillers burning some of that time off the clock and taking their time to find an opening here. McDonald out in front. And now it is Hawkins. Some contact between uh Hawkins and Grace Fernandez there, it appears. And she'll come out of the free position. Good pass there, a great feed of Cammy McDonald who swipes it in. 12 to three, Hillers. The goal comes with 17.22 left. Hillers maintaining control in this game. Lily York back into the game. Just give Lydia Rudden a rest. Picked up by Cammie McDonald. Pass up to Hawkins. And now closing in here was O'Connor. She'll have a big chance here out of the free position. O'Connor closes in. Shot, goal. 13 to three Hillers. The score comes at 1640 left to go. Clock will continue to run with the Hillers up by 10. Picked up along the far side, here comes Garvin. That's up to Danahy. Who's ball? Fernandez uh, lost it, and the Hillers will have it. Ended up going out of play there for the turnover. Hawkins takes it up. Out 
to O'Connor. Out in front, there's a shot turned away. That was off of the net of Cammy McDonald. Here comes Mansfield. And it's swiped up by Vassington. That was a nice job by Vassington sneaking in there. Now the Ailers get the turnover. Lily York comes up with the loose ball. York rushing in. He's trying to spin around the defender there, but was boxed out. So we'll get it over to Cammie McDonald instead. Out in front, loose ball. And it's scooped away, and Lily York was trying to box out the approaching Hornet. Mansfield will have it, though, with the contact as Grace Mayer passes it up to Lauren Whitman. Whitman over to McCoy. Here comes McCoy up the far sideline. McCoy up to Murray. 14 minutes and counting left to go in this second half. Hiller's up 13-3 over Mansfield. Hopkinton came into this game with a 2-2 two two record. Mansfield at 2-1. Closing in here was Garvin. Garvin trying to find where to go with it. We'll go up to McCoy. Mansfield going to try to wrap it around. Loose ball. It's picked up by Lucas. Juliana Lucas, she's just done superb in net today. She's made a lot of great saves to keep this a Hiller's dominated game. Catherine Dacey with possession. It's up to Cockins. And over to the far side to Cassidy. Now out in front, McCulis. Kulis gets it up to Dacey. Dacey was trying to set it up in front. I think she was looking for Lily York. Mansfield has possession. Up the far side is Danahy. Danahy picks up the loose ball. Grace Fernandez had the pass. And now rushing in for the score there is Danahy. Actually, did we have a whistle there? Looks like we might have. So we had the whistle. And Danny will try it again. Juliana Lucas with another brilliant save. Less than 12 minutes left to go now. Loose ball. Mansfield has it, closing in, shot too high. That was a nice uh, takeaway by Danahy. A pretty good shot there, but a little too much zip on it. But she is going to get a chance here at a free position. There was some contact as she was attempting that shot. Here she goes, Joliana Lucas with another great save. Lucas has just done tremendous in net all game long. And there's been a number of opportunities that Mansfield has had. Juliana Lucas just shutting him down. Jesse Ionelli with the pass over to McCulis. And now here comes the Hillers on the attack. Olivia O'Connor with possession. Over to the near side, I and Ellie. Loose ball, swiped up, picked up by McDonald. Out to I and Ellie. And now O'Connor. Olivia O'Connor rushes in out in front, Cammy McDonald. Ten and a half, and counting left to go. 13 to three, Hillers over Mansfield. Olivia O'Connor with possession. 
She was trying to sneak it in to Lily York out in front. It was ball picked up along the far side by Dacey. Now over to Ionelli. And outs. Loose ball at midfield, and McCullis is there to maintain Hiller's possession. Olivia O'Connor picks it up. Up the far side, Liza Worrell. Lily York. And it looks like we are going to get a timeout called by the Hillers with 9.43 left to go. A 13 to 3 Hopkinton lead. Time of called on the field. We'll take one as well on HCAM. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get in a hundred dollar fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. Off the timeout, 9.43 left to go. The Hillers leading Mansfield 13-3 on this windy, cloudy day at Hopkinton High School. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Also, Weston Nurseries, located at 93 East Main Street. Visit their garden centers in Hopkinton or Chelmsford and discover limitless possibilities to create your backyard paradise. You can find them online at westonnurseries.com. The Hillers have maintained control of this game throughout. And it has been an impressive showing against a talented, well-coached Mansfield team. Lily York, out in front to Olivia O'Connor. And a great feed of McDonald, the shot just wide to the left. Hillers maintain possession as Lily York is there. O'Connor, near side, McCullis. Deflected off of Cassidy. Loose ball picked up by York. And she swung it out to Worrell. And now McCullis. Less than nine minutes left to go now in regulation. Hiller's maintaining the 10 point lead. Bassington. Out in front and another Cammy McDonald goal. 14 of three Hillers. And that goal comes with 8.35 left to go. Just pouring it on. Cammy McDonald has five goals today. That is some impressive stuff from the junior. Clock continues to run with the big lead for the Hillers. Less than eight minutes left to go now. Looks like the sun may be trying to finally peek out. Hornets with possession. Out in front, McCoy. She'll get it over to Danahy. Danahy trying to create something there. And she'll get a free position opportunity here. Out in front, good feed, shot, and it's a Mansfield goal. That'll make it a 14-4 game. 
Lauren Whitman with the score. That came at 7.03 left to go. Lauren Whitman uh, has a pair of goals today for Mansfield. And the Hillers able to collect the loose ball as Olivia O'Connor was there. Allie Calkins takes it up the far side. Good feed to Lily York. York out in front, rushing in. And it is another Hillers goal, 15-4. Lily York saw an opening and exploited it and got off a great shot. Hiller's back up by 11. Less than six minutes left to go now. The JV girls lacrosse team getting some practice in over on the Softball field. And this turf field facility here at Hopkinton High School has just been tremendous for these teams. Very few postponements despite a number of questionable days weather-wise. A lot different of a story than last year. And another Hiller's goal here is Lily York able to do it again and make it a 6-4 to four game. Lily York is just running around everybody and finding openings right in front of the net. And she is having herself a day. That is her second goal of the day, but she's been involved with a number of assists. Hiller is up by 12. Well, the Hopkins and Hillers going to get back above the 500 mark with the win here today. And to be three and two after the opponents they have had throughout their first five games, that is impressive. It has not been an easy schedule to start off the season for the Hillers. Certainly some great talent on this team. Abby Varchion with possession. Gets it over to Whitman. That's in and out of the net of Fernandez. Able to pick it up. And a swipe over to the far side to Varchione. She lost it and it's collected by Hannah Ionelli. And now, now it's a battle between Ionelli and Garvin. And Garvin got there first. There goes Garvin looking for a shot. She'll scoop it over, and it is going to be a Mansfield score there. Good feed from Garvin over to Whitman, and it's a 16-5 game. Well, Mansfield, uh, they've showed some signs of life offensively in the second half. Only one goal in that first half, but in the second half, they've found their opportunities but the problem for Mansfield is they just haven't been able to maintain possession or create any kind of momentum. Less than three minutes left to go now in the second half. We have a flag on the far side of the field. So we'll go back to the center circle to square off once again. Loose ball. And we'll get a whistle here. Hillers are going to have it. And I and Ellie will start off with possession. Or Kim McDonald, rather. Here comes Hopkinton. Kim 
McDonald. 0-2 O'Connor. And now Lily York. Along the near side, Worrell. Actually, that's uh, Cassidy, rather. Hopkinton in no real rush to shoot here, but it is a loose ball. Mansfield has it. The Hornets going to try to get within 10. It's stolen away. What a steal there by McCullis. McCullis able to intercept it. Over to Dacey. Catherine Dacey, a sophomore. It's back out to Baculus. And now it is Abby Cassidy. And the Hillers, they're just going to play keep away for the moment. Liza Worrell able to get there. Less than a minute left to go now. Mansfield has possession. Here comes the Hornets, hoping for one last score. Out in front, and it's turned away by Lucas, picked up by Mansfield still. And Lucas turns it away again on a secondary shot by Garvin, and then Garvin trying to scoop it in once again and was turned away. But there was some contact. And a free position we go here. Katie Garvin. Rushes in, shot, goal. 16 to six is the score, but that's gonna do it as the clock will expire. And the Hopkinton Illers going to come away with the victory. An impressive showing here today by Hopkinton as they take down the Mansfield Hornets by a final score of 16 to six. The Hillers now three and two on this season. The Hornets fall to two and two. The Hillers just dominant in their victory here today. And it certainly should be a very fun season to follow this Rose Varsity Lacrosse team. A lot of talent out there on the field. Certainly a lot of potential. The final score for the final time, the Hopkinton Hillers take down Mansfield 16 to six. For John Ritz on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Girls Varsity Lacrosse on HCAMP. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.